Welcome back to the Crypto World channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and right now, Ethereum is experiencing some short-term bullish price action and potentially the continuation of this massive trend to the upside as we've experienced over the past couple of weeks. And right now, if we can actually see a daily close above this exact level, then that is when it's very likely that we are going to continue to explode to the upside here. So in just a moment, I'll be going over that important level for Ethereum and all of the other important levels out there as well and my next price targets for ethereum and my ethereum strategy as well and that's not all i will of course be updating you guys on ethereum versus bitcoin because right now we are potentially in the beginning stages of a huge breakout so if you hold ethereum make sure you watch all the way to the end of this video so that you're not missing out on any of this important information and if that sounds good to you just before we jump into it make sure to leave a like in the video down below and if you could just quickly subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on that seriously means a lot to me and it helps out the channel so much but with that out of the way let's get straight to what this video is about so right here we're on the ethereum to us dollar chart on the four hour time frame and as you can see pretty much over the past four hours at the time of filming this video we have experienced a nice green candle here on the four hour time frame once again and we are potentially breaking back into this upwards trending channel right here as you can see this important level is coming in at roughly around 2570 us dollars so at the time of filming this video we are actually trading above that level but we have not seen any confirmation we haven't even seen a candle close above that level just yet so if we could see one to two candle closes above this level right here then we could consider that ethereum is actually breaking back into this channel right here and also if we could see some sort of spike in volume or a retest of that level as well as extra confirmation that would be really nice because right now we aren't really seeing any major volume on the chart so keep that in mind as well because the lower the volume the easier it is to manipulate the price of ethereum so definitely remember that one on low volume don't necessarily trust this price action until we can see a couple other confirmations form on the chart such as a retest of these levels or perhaps a simple spike or surge in volume just here now of course one of the immediate points of resistance that i am paying attention to for ethereum in the short term and as i've mentioned yesterday is basically at the previous high just here coming in at roughly around 2.7k that is a major point of resistance for ethereum as we have already confirmed that level of resistance but that in my opinion is only a short term level of resistance it's only a matter of time before that level breaks. So as I've mentioned recently on this channel and also on my Twitter, the link to my Twitter, by the way, is in the description down below if you wanna get extra updates throughout the day. But yeah, as I've mentioned recently, any bearish price action that we see in the short term, I would simply see that as a buying opportunity considering the fact that on the daily time frame, we are actually beginning a major uptrend here to the upside. We are already forming a higher high here. We are simply just waiting for a higher low on the chart, which at this stage, it is very low likely that the next low wherever it may form is going to be a higher low the last low for ethereum on the daily time frame was right down here at around 1700 us dollars as so that's why i said just a moment ago that it is quite likely that the next low is going to be a higher low considering the fact that if we were to form a lower low on the daily time frame ethereum would basically have to dump all the way down below 1700 us dollars without a single bounce and even though that's technically not impossible that would be very unlikely and by the Wait, this yellow line that I've got right here is coming in at roughly around 2610 US dollars. That's basically the highest daily candle close that we've seen on this run so far, basically ever since around the first half of June. So in nearly two months, we have not seen a daily candle close on the Ethereum to US dollar chart close above 2610 US dollars. So the next daily candle, by the way, at the time of filming this video closes in roughly around 10 hours from now so that's when we'll know for sure where the daily candle will actually close at obviously and if we close at a higher level so basically if we close above 2610 and more importantly if we can close above 2700 us dollars then that would actually be very bullish for ethereum and in that case it would be very likely that this uptrend here on the daily time frame will continue to the upside at the very least over the next few days but potentially over the next few weeks and even over the next few months now once again we are not going to head straight to the upside so even though i would expect you know more bullish price action and an uptrend to the upside that's not going to be straight to the upside we're going to have some short-term pullbacks along the way there's going to be you know a few days at a time perhaps even up to a week at a time where we're going to experience some bearish price action even though on the bigger picture we're going to be in an uptrend 
friend. Now, once again, that is simply the most likely scenario. Of course, I can be wrong, but from taking a look at the chart, that is basically what the chart is looking at right now, especially if we can see that daily candle close above this level. If we cannot see the daily candle close above that level. So basically over the next 10 hours, if we actually see a strong rejection along that level, because for example, this can still turn into another red daily candle, considering the fact that we still have around 10 hours to go for this candle. Then in that case, if this turns into a red candle, obviously would be bearish. And in that case, I would expect at least a few more days to potentially be a little bit more bearish or at the very least to put Ethereum into more of a consolidation area in around this range just here, pretty much ranging between around 2.4K and 2.6K. Because by the way, roughly around 2,400 US dollars is some pretty massive support for Ethereum in the short term. And in fact, even if we do come back down towards that level and get a bounce along that level, that would actually be the retest of the potential breakout out of this massive W pattern on the daily time frame. So obviously we've already broken out to the upside here and you could potentially see the bearish price action recently as the retest of this level. Now, even though it wasn't the exact retest of the level, we still made an effort to come back down towards this 2.4K level, even though we didn't make it all the way down to that level once again. So yeah, basically as long as we can hold that level, then that is actually really bullish for Ethereum because of course W pattern, also known as a double bottom pattern as the name suggests just is a bullish pattern. It basically means that the price is bottoming out and usually it acts as a reversal pattern, a trend reversal. So obviously over the last couple months for Ethereum and pretty much over the entire crypto market, we have actually been in a downtrend over the past couple months on the daily timeframe. And it's only just been over the past one to two weeks that we have actually finally broken into a bit more of an uptrend here, a bit more bullish price action. And by the way, a quick recap for the price target out of this W pattern for as long as we can hold above two 4k the price target for this w pattern is currently coming in at roughly around 3100 us dollars per ethereum so from the current prices to that price target that is still roughly around an 18 to 19 percent gain for Ethereum. So definitely some big opportunities here moving forward. And that would only just get Ethereum started, by the way, if we can start smashing past 3.1K up towards around the $3,500 price range, then at that stage, I would actually be targeting closer towards the all-time high itself, potentially within a matter of weeks after we break above 3.1K. Once again, that would be my initial price target, 3.1K. And then above that towards the all-time high, it would actually be where I would be targeting. And by the way, the all-time high is coming in at roughly around 4,400 US dollars per Ethereum. So from the current price, by the way, to the all-time high, that is still roughly around a 68% gain for Ethereum. So there's definitely some big opportunities in the market right now. And there's seriously never been a better time to stay active in these markets and share these videos around with your friends, considering the opportunity that is right in front of us. And by the way, a quick update on the Ethereum weekly chart just here. We are still in a massive raging bull market. We are still in a huge uptrend on the weekly time frame for Ethereum. Once again, we have not broken this trend line one single time ever since over a year ago when the price of Ethereum capitulated from around 290 US dollars down towards the low of around 90 US dollars in March 2020. And once again, ever since that massive capitulation just last year, Ethereum has retained this huge trend line, this huge weekly uptrend, even after all of the bearish price action that we have experienced over the past two to three months. Now quickly just checking out the Ethereum versus Bitcoin chart just here on the daily time frame, and things are definitely looking really good here for Ethereum versus Bitcoin considering the fact that of course we have seen a strong breakout to the upside zooming into the smaller time frames here so not even the really small time frames just the four hour time frame right here we did actually see a perfect retest of this exact level and by the way I was talking about this exact level when we were originally breaking above this white line just here around 0.062 Bitcoin per Ethereum. That's when I mentioned this yellow line coming in at roughly around 0.064 for Bitcoin per Ethereum. That's basically just the previous high here for Ethereum versus Bitcoin. And if you're on the channel at that stage just there a few days ago, once again, I basically mentioned on the channel that I did actually sell some Bitcoin into Ethereum. So I moved some of my Bitcoin holdings back into Ethereum at that exact yellow line just there. And I even showed proof in my video just a couple of days ago. And for any of you that did actually follow me on that opportunity that I gave you guys a couple of days ago, right now, you would actually be already 
making profits from that trade. And once again, on the four hour time frame, we saw such a perfect retest of this yellow line right here. And we are currently pumping to the upside. Now, of course, we could find some short term resistance at the previous short term high just here coming in at around 0.067 Bitcoin per Ethereum. But for as long as we can form a higher high here for Ethereum versus Bitcoin, that can actually be really good news for Ethereum versus Bitcoin. The one and only bearish sign that I can see here in the short term for Ethereum versus Bitcoin is the fact that we could potentially be forming a small bearish divergence if we do actually make a higher high and turn around pretty quickly. But of course, I'm simply letting you guys know of a bearish sign that could be forming so that you know what to pay attention to on the smaller time frames just here. But if the price of Ethereum continues to pump to the upside here against Bitcoin, for example, and that actually brings the RSI to a new higher high, then obviously that would cancel that bearish divergence altogether. So that's why I said that this right here is not confirmed. It would be confirmed if we form a higher high and get one to two candle closes and kind of start stagnating in the price. That's when we can confirm a bearish divergence. And quickly covering the Bitcoin dominance right here because this is really important for all of you altcoin holders out there. Right now, the Bitcoin dominance is plummeting to the downside, breaking below all of these important levels of support just here. So in the short term, this is bearish for the Bitcoin dominance. But by the way, this doesn't necessarily mean that Bitcoin Bitcoin is bearish because once again, this is just the Bitcoin dominance. So for example, if Bitcoin is simply neutral and altcoins are pumping, that's going to drag the Bitcoin dominance to the downside. Or even if Bitcoin is pumping, for as long as the altcoins are outperforming Bitcoin, it's going to drag the Bitcoin dominance to the downside. So basically, because the altcoins just on average will be outperforming Bitcoin's gains. But if this is trending to the upside, then that is bearish for the altcoins because basically the altcoins will be lagging behind Bitcoin's gains. As of just a few days ago, when we were actually breaking below some of these important levels just here, that was also another reason why I did move a bit of my Bitcoin holdings into Ethereum. And I shared that on this channel for you guys to follow along as well. And if you did, once again, you would have made some nice profits already. And if you're wondering how I actually did that transaction and what I used to trade Bitcoin and Ethereum, once again, I covered that in my video just a couple days ago now on the channel. But yeah, if you want to check out BlockFi for yourself, I do have a link to BlockFi down below in the description. And if you use that link, you can get yourself a bonus when you're signing up. But for those of you wondering, for all of my other trades, I do actually use Bybit as the platform that I use to actually trade Bitcoin and Ethereum. Now, a quick disclaimer, leverage trading is extremely risky and I never recommend it for the beginners out there. If you want to give it a go, make sure you know what you're doing before you actually get involved. Do your research on the topic. And especially for those of you starting out with trading, definitely start with amounts that you are willing to lose. So only very small amounts. I would not be telling you guys that if I wanted to make the most money out of this channel because if I was really just trying to make the most money for myself, I'll be telling you to put as much money as possible on those platforms. But in my opinion, having integrity on the channel and respect for all of you is definitely far more important than any money. With that being said, if you do want to give Bybit a go, I do have a link to Bybit down below. And right now they do actually have a massive bonus available for the new signups. But anyway, that's just about everything I have to say for this video. I hope you all enjoyed the video and I hope you got something valuable out of this video. And if you did, make sure to leave a like on the video down below and if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on for more videos like this one. Once again, I tried to mention in every video that I actually do appreciate all of the support on the channel at the moment. I can't thank you guys enough, but that's just about everything I have to say for this video. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video.